You guys looking to find out exactly where you need to live in New Braunfels, Texas? Stay tuned, I'm gonna give you a little bit of tour around New Braunfels, check out some of these awesome neighborhoods, and uh, my wife's gonna be behind the camera, so don't give her too hard a time on this, all right? <laughs> all right, stay tuned, guys. Howdy guys, this is Michael McCall, real estate agent here in San Antonio and New Braunfels, Texas. Uh, today, like I mentioned, we're going to talk about everything you need to know about where to live in New Braunfels. Um, we're going to go to as many of these neighborhoods as possible. I'm going to go through as many as possible in the entire city of New Braunfels. Uh, we'll go by price too. We'll go the uh, everything under 300000 the 300000 the 500000 and then everything above 500000 just to keep it short, concise, and kind of help you guys understand where where your money can get, you know, get you to live out of here in your brothel. So um, also guys, don't forget, uh, if you do need anything whatsoever, need any help, uh, you know, getting to New Braunfels, moving here, if you have any questions about New Braunfels or San Antonio or anything like that, text me, email me, call me, it doesn't matter, I'll get back with you guys. Um, and then also if this video gives you any kind of value whatsoever, uh, definitely like uh, and comment what you think subscribe hit that little bell so that you're always notified about videos on this channel and without further ado let's get into it so we're going to start with everything below 300,000. so in new brothels in the last six months there's been 738 homes that have been sold under three hundred thousand dollars uh everything kind of starts right about that 150,000 mid 100s mark um you can kind of get stuff inside of town with that some of the smaller older houses inside of town but those can also be good investment properties because you got everything that's right there close like downtown new braunfels slitter bond land park um the Comal river tube shoot green all those types of things are right there in the middle of town so uh even buying some of those older properties and renovating them can be a good option the first place we're going to take you today is avery park which is kind of in that clear springs area south of town so clear springs is a awesome restaurant by the way uh, about a few miles south of the uh, 35, 46 intersection. Um, Clear Springs has some of the best onion rings and catfish, fried catfish you'll ever eat. I can promise you that. And fun fact, I will be stuffing my face there tomorrow. And uh, every park is a pretty nice little community, very affordable, um, smaller homes. Uh, it's actually got its own elementary school there as well. It's a pretty big neighborhood. Uh, D.R. Horton is the builder. Um, there's a couple other neighborhoods in that area too um, that are about that same price point. So it's a pretty good spot for that lower 200s. The next area we're going to talk about is Creekside. So Creekside is the kind of main shopping hub of New Braunfels. That's where your Target, your Best Buy is. Um, there's a couple other little shops that I don't honestly know the names of, but there's a bunch of restaurants there, BJ's, Willie's. Um, you got the Water Burgers right there, Panda Express, uh, a couple different barbecue joints, all kinds of places. But there's also a ton of new construction around there. Um, just south of there, it's a uh, you know a bunch of old cornfields that they started buying up and building. But the houses that they're building are really nice and really affordable too. All of them are just about in that mid 200s to, uh, to 300 price range. And uh, you know really you can get a, a brand spanking new house and you're right there next to. Um, all these shops and then on top of that you're right next to the biggest gas station in the world Bucky's Bucky's has over 120 gas pumps has over 1,000 parking spots and it's over 68,000 square feet inside and just so you know Bucky the Beaver is pretty dang cute too so Go check out Bucky's when you get here. Creekside's a really good spot. A lot of affordable houses around. The next one we're going to look at is over kind of on the southern side of the city. It's right off of Walnut Road and County Line Road, um, just south of uh, 35 off of Walnut. A um, bunch of neighborhoods there, a ton of development. Um, there's actually a bunch of new neighborhoods going up there as well. Um, just a few of them, uh, Dove Crossing, Castle Ridge, um, Sungate. Um, bunch of others like I said but this is really close to Walmart it's also really close to the HEB and it's also close to in my opinion the best fast food restaurant Chick-fil-a so you get the best of all worlds right there out to the west of town going down 35 towards San Antonio you have a few other pretty decent little neighborhoods too you have Magnolia Springs Highland Grove and then Briar Meadows um, all over new neighborhoods so they're nice new homes and then all under 300,000 which is outstanding and it makes for a nice easy commute to San Antonio if you have to go that way. And one last neighborhood for the under $300,000 homes is Veramendi. Veramendi we're going to talk about a lot in the next section of homes with 300 to 500,000 but they do have a few homes that are up in that upper $200,000 price range. 
Now let's go through the $300,000 to $500,000 price range. So in the last six months, we've seen 468 home sales in this price range. And with this, we start to get to some of the most popular neighborhoods in New Braunfels. So one of the big draws to New Braunfels is it's a waterfront property. So you have Lake Dunlap and the Guadalupe River, and then you also have the Comal River that runs through New Braunfels. Um, you'll be hard pressed to find a waterfront property under 500,000. Uh, I did see one that sold in the last six months. But what you can get is some really great neighborhoods that have waterfront access, where they have the parks that you can go access the river anytime you want. Uh, River Chase is one of those, but another good one that's south of town is the Bandit. And Bandit is on one of the most popular golf courses. It's a gated community, so you get all the privacy and you can get a house on the fairway for right around $350,000, which is pretty crazy. A little closer to town from the Bandit and uh, right off 725 and actually pretty close to that county line uh, road, Walnut intersection where those other neighborhoods are at, um, you'll find South Bank and Pecan Crossing. You can get some really great homes there for under $400,000 as well. Heading up north towards San Marcos off 35, you have uh, right off Hunter Road, you have Cloud Country and Wassa Ranch. So both of those are new home communities with some outstanding homes. Uh, most of the houses there are in that mid 300s price range. And uh, they're also really close to the newest HEB Plus in, in New Braunfels. It's also really close to Creekside, so you have easy access to Bucky's and the rest of those shops over there too. Now we're gonna get into some of my absolute favorite neighborhoods. Uh, so the first one is the Settlement at Green. Settlement at Green is a really, really awesome new community. It sold out super fast. I mean, I, I have barely saw any houses listed for sale in the neighborhood for longer than a couple weeks. Um, most of the prices are right at that low 400s price range. Houses are gorgeous. Like I said, all brand spanking new and it's less than a mile from Green. You could dang near walk to Green if you wanted to. So Green is one of those places where you'll visit and you'll actually want to move here just to be able to come to Green more often. Uh, Green Hall is a very legendary music venue. It's hosted, you know, all of the Texas country music artists, and it's also hosted the likes of George Strait and Willie Nelson. Uh, you also have Green River Grill, Grist Mill, which are some of the best restaurants that you'll eat at anywhere, not just in Green and New Braunfels. Uh, you also have a whole lot of different shops and boutiques all over the place. You also have the Green General Store, which has all kinds of little antique trinkets that you can shop for and then they have all kinds of little sweets and treats too that you can try out which are awesome oh gosh okay <laughs> all right so head, headed away from new Braunfels down 46 uh towards bull Verde, uh, right past the intersection of 337 and 46 uh the first one you're going to get to out of a slew of neighborhoods that are out there uh, is Veramendi. Veramendi is a soon to be mega house of a community. It is still in the very early stages of being built, uh, but it is going to be massive. It's a 2,400 acre master plan community. It's going to have 380 acres of commercial development, including its own town center and its own hospital. Uh, it's supposed to also have its own higher education campus. It's gonna be its own little town. Basically what their goal is from what I've heard is that they want to um, create what Green has established over the long term and that is an outstanding neighborhood to look into you can get houses all the way down in the 200s for that and then all the way up into the 500 as well around there uh, you also have oak run a little further down 46 you have manor creek uh, you also have um, a couple others out there so all this is just a quick easy drive back down 46 towards the intersection with 337 uh, that's where your hub is at uh, you also have a whole bunch of shops and restaurants around there a couple little barbecue joints uh, you have uh, the real seafood restaurant, um, Casa Garcia, Herbert's Mexican food. It's, it's all really, really good. So you got plenty right there. If you're looking for a little bit more spacious neighborhood, Vintage Oaks and River Chase are great, great options. River Chase is a little bit older neighborhood. It's out uh, on 306 headed towards Canyon Lake. It is a massive community. It is, uh, I think, right at about 1,700 lots or a little bit more than 1,700 lots. It's also got a 57-acre riverfront park, which is freaking awesome. Uh, it has a 33-acre uh, park on the other side. There's two sides of it on each side of the road. 33-acre uh, park has a clubhouse and a pool. They also have a community fishing pond. So you get the best of everything out there. River Chase is a little bit more affordable. You're going to find a little bit more homes under $500,000 than you would Vintage Oaks, mainly because River Chase is a little bit older and then they have a little bit less building restrictions. You can build smaller homes out there too. I saw a house that was recently sold out there. It was 1,800 square feet, whereas Vintage Oaks, I don't think you can build anything below that. Now, Vintage Oaks. So Vintage Oaks is the crown jewel of New Braunfels, I would have to say. It is by far the most popular community from my experience. 
Um, it is also massive. Uh, it is also around 4,000 acres. They have uh, over, well over a thousand homes, um, all of them over an acre. And then to top it off, the amenities are second to none. They have multiple amenity centers, they have multiple pools, they have fitness center. And not only do they have multiple pools, their big amenity center has a lazy river. Yes, a lazy river. It is a great neighborhood for with, with a lot of families that live in it. Um, there's lots of parks, uh, there's tennis courts, there's soccer fields, uh, there's all kinds of walking trails, wildlife everywhere. Um, like I said though, you're gonna have a hard time finding a house under 500,000 in the section with the bigger lots. Now, you can find homes under 400,000 in the Grove at Vintage Oaks, which is more of a kind of standard residential subdivision. Perry Homes and Scott Felder have uh, started building houses out there. They've got quite a few out there already, but they're on, you know, about a quarter acre or less. And like I said, you can get some starting in the upper 300s, which is outstanding. Now onto the big dollar homes. So New Braunfels is actually a really popular place for retirees. It actually made Money Magazine's list of one of the top places for retirees. Um, and with that, uh, you have a lot of people that are buying some big dollar homes. So in the last six months, there's been 236 houses sold to over $500,000. It's quite a few. Starting off south of town, that's where you have the rivers, uh, where Guadalupe River runs, it's where Lake Dunlap and Lake McQueenie are. So you have a lot of those waterfront properties that are, multi, you know, there's several multi-million dollar estates down there. Right in the middle of town, close to the Comal River and Landa Park, you actually have several luxury estate communities as well, like Landa Park Estates and Tuscan Ridge. On the northeast side of town, you have, of course, River Chase. And just south of River Chase is actually Havenwood at Hunter's Crossing. So that's a little bit higher price than River Chase is, and mainly because it's newer, but it also has a lot more, like I said, the building restrictions that kind of drives the prices a lot. But in addition, it's very similar to Vintage Oaks. The difference, the main difference is that it is gated, unlike Vintage Oaks or River Chase. Close to Veramendi, up on that northwest side of town, you actually have uh, Hunter's Creek, which is an older community with a lot of big lots. And then you also have John Newcomb Estates. So Newcomb Ranch Estates actually had the highest price sale in the last six months at 2.15 million. If that tells you anything about this country club and golf course community. And lastly, you have Copper Ridge. Copper Ridge is just before you get to Vintage Oaks on the left side of the highway. It is a spectacular community. Very, very strict building restrictions, but for a reason, and it shows whenever you're going through it. And it is not something that just anybody can drive through. The reason being is that it is one of the only guarded and gated communities in all of New Braunfels. So that means that whenever you pull up to that gate, there's a guard waiting there to greet you and make sure that you are supposed to be going into this neighborhood, which gives you the ultimate privacy. So guys, with that, that concludes our list and that our tour of New Braunfels and the best places to live. Um, hope this was a good rundown for you guys. I will definitely get into some more details with some of these neighborhoods in later videos. So make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified. But uh, if you found this video helpful, definitely let me know in the comments and hit that like button if you're uh, if you got anything out of this whatsoever. Um, again, guys, I'm always here to help you. So if you need anything whatsoever, definitely text me, call me, email me. My information is right there. And uh, I'm always here to help you guys however I need to. Till the next video, I will see you guys later.